against five losses. Fighting on Hotel Bon of Philippines. He is the reigning and defending WBA Bantamweight Champion of the World. The Filipino Flash, Nonita Donier. Once again, here to give instructions is Mark Nelson. How many received your instructions in the dressing room? You both know what I expect, a good, clean championship fight. Just obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. For this WBA Bantamweight Championship, Nonito Donier, Stefan Young, Ray Forrest, Kendall Gill joining you ringside. Tell you what, the thing for Donier here is, is do you, if you don't take an opponent seriously, he then becomes serious. And that's the one thing that he has to avoid. I saw him in a couple in the pre, in the pre fight interview and he said, no, his mindset will not change. He will continue to look at this fight exactly the way that he approached the Tay Tay fight. Nice right hand to the body by Nonito Donier. Stefan Young looking to make a big jump up and capture a world title for the first time. This is the first time he has fought for gold, and they both exchanged nicely as 45 seconds has elapsed off the clock. But you can see the power right there with Nonito when he threw that left hook. He absolutely moved Young across the ring. Well, Nonito Donier has fought some high-level competition. Guillermo Rigondeaux, Carl Frampton. Nicholas Walters as well handed a ninth round TKO victory to Victor Chinian beat Jorge Arce as well I mean what a career for Donier that has spanned over 18 years And still has that fire to right here with Donier throws a straight right hand Well there's Stefan well, Young, Young with Young that straight left Straight left did a great job but here it is right here Double jab, followed up, blinds Boom. him, hits him with the left hand. He actually walked back to the corner, Stefan Young, that is, blinking with his left eye. So, got to look out for that. Might here. affect him in this round. Round four, this one is scheduled for 12. Stefan Young was lit up with that right hand, but it was set up, Kendall, how with the double jab. With, with a double jab, and that's where the experience comes into play. You know, as I, as I mentioned before, yeah, we thought we had confidence against the Chicago Bulls, and then they took it <laughs> away from us, and that's exactly what Donaire did in that last round. And Stefan Young got confidence because he was landing shots, but Donaire just took everything away from him with that last combination. And in the fourth round, compared to the second and the third candle, Donaire has come forward and is pushing the issue more. He's going to try to make Stefan Young uncomfortable because Young got comfortable in the second and third and got into a rhythm. Yeah, he, he got comfortable and he got confident. And that's something as great champions and, and, and elite fighters, they have to take that play away from you because you don't want your opponent to become dangerous. And with Nonito Donier, he realizes what is on the line. Both men realize the significance. Obviously, a world title is up for grabs, but also a berth to the final of the World Boxing Super Series Bantamweight Tournament. You can also see Donier is trying to feint and set Stephen Young up for something. Once again, nice uppercut. Hit him right in that left eye again. As we are 50% of the way done of round number four. And Donier is looking to add in a left hook that connected. He's also trying to set up an uppercut, that being Onito Donier. Yeah, he, he's just walking Stephen Young down now. And, and it seems like he knows that he's hurt. You can see Stephen Young blinking. That, that left, that right eye is really bothering him at this point. And he just walk, he, he's just walking to Stephen Young because there's nothing coming back. When Stephon Young, his eyes have opened up considerably in the sense that he is really thinking and trying to observe and get away from the big punches of Nonito Donier. Nonito Donier with a 57% knockout percentage has 271 rounds entering this matchup. 
And you can see Donaire, he's not even worried about the power of Stefan Young coming back. He's just walking forward, willing to take one to give one at this point. Don't hold. Mark Nelson warning about to tell the fighters not to hold. Now blood coming from the nostrils of Stefan Young. So now he is Stefan Young going back to the corner, and he has some work to do. See him walking forward, boom, throwing that uppercut, coming right between the gloves. He knows that Stefan Young is one, has the earmuffs on, and leaning forward, which sets him up perfectly for that left uppercut right there. And he landed right on the button. Didn't know Nito Donier. And there's Stefan Young answering back, though, but Donier threw that right hand over the top. Yeah, and he counters him, and, that, and that's exactly what champions do. He tried to catch it and shoot, but he wasn't able to catch it, but the shoot worked because he came right over the top of that shot, Donair. <laughs> Round five, this one is scheduled for 12. Nonito Donier. Stefan Young, Donier, the champion, having beat Brian Burnett by fourth round TKO because Burnett could not continue. And Donier starting off and going right to the body of Stefan Young to start the fifth round. Yeah, and you see when he came out in the fifth round and he's straight right hands, he threw two in a row, and it looks like he's just going to try to go after Stefan Young at this point and try to finish him. That That's the attitude that he has at this point. Well, Stefan Young, who showed glimpses in the second and the third, now he realizes he is in some deep waters. The question is, can he survive and keep himself afloat against Donier? And that's, what, and that's what he has to do right there. He has to stand his ground at some point and not let Nonito continue to come forward and pot shot him. Well, Donier... He's using his jab to get on the inside, and then he whacks him with the right hand. There's a jab followed by a right for Donier. You know, he's trying to make a stand, and he's scoring, but it seems like it's just not enough. He doesn't have enough pop for Nonito Donier to respect him, because Nonito Donier continues to walk forward. When he has... A good defense does Donier. He is and an uppercut that backed up and snapped the head. Yeah, this is something that he has to do to make Nonito respect him. Well, if you cannot count out Stefan Young and take a look at the punch stat numbers, overwhelming for Nonito Donier. And there's an uppercut by Nonito Donier under a minute left here in round number five. Listen, you got to give it to Stefan Young, though. Three days notice he takes this fight. Aiming to put Young with his back on the ropes. If you're Young, he's got to get out. He needs to stay in the center of that ring. Absolutely. He cannot get on the ropes whatsoever. That's exactly where Donaire wants you. As he's backing him up to the ropes again. That's exactly how he started to punish Ryan Burnett in his previous fight. Nice shot by Young. As we near the end of the fifth. Between Nonito Donier and Stefan Young. <laughs> Into Donier's uppercut. Donier knows that uh, shot is there, but you see a Stefan Young right there going to the ropes, trying to throw that straight left hand. That's the one thing that Donier has to be careful about. He can't walk in without his defense. Well, I think there's a point, Kendall, as we begin the sixth round, that Donier takes risks because he knows he can, and he will absorb a shot just so that he can get Young comfortable to sit in the pocket more, and then he can throw the combinations and blast away on him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that strategy, that's championship pedigree. Uh, Nonito knows what he's doing. 36 years old, four-time world champion, so he knows all the tricks of the trade. And you know what is startling more than anything, Kendall, is guys in the lighter weight classes, I'm talking calculated, and there's a reason for why he does what he does. Exactly. And, uh, you know, rather than being the Filipino Flash, he's more like the Filipino Thunder <laughs> exactly, <laughs> at I this like point. 
fight. He knows that he's outgunned, but he's biting down, sitting down, and trading shots. Once again, as you can see him connecting right there with Donaire. Well, Donaire cannot get too comfortable because Young certainly has quite a bit of pop on the punches. And you know, Kendall, having been inside the ring, the punches that are the most dangerous are those in which you do not see. The ones that you do not see will debilitate you. And, you know, that's why Stefan Young has to be careful of that uppercut when he puts the ear months on because you can't see that shot coming. And there are not many guys who have physical attributes, and a guy that had earmuff defense was that, and you mentioned him earlier, Winky Wright. Winky Wright there are yeah. not many guys that have those long of arms and biceps to be able to evade. And there's oh. a big up there. Down goes Young on a thunderous left hook. And that is the vaunted power that we're talking about. Nonito Denaire at this weight class, 118 pounds. Everybody better watch out. Good night, Stefan Young. No need to don't yell. Decapitating Young. Wow, what a left hook. Oh, my goodness. And now we await, we hope that Young is okay. He's moving. Yeah. But what a thunderous one-punch knockout. From Nonito Donier. And, and I, I can tell you guys, Nonito Donier, what a gentleman. He's sitting there. He knows that was a that was a shot that could change a fighter's career at that point. The, the shot that he was hit with. And Nonito Donier showing concern for his opponent. What a gentleman. But listen, you, you got to give it to Stefan Young. He came out here on three days notice and fought hard. Unfortunately, it ended up like this for him. Talk about a candidate for knockout of the year here in 2019. Oh my goodness. It was it was unbelievable. I mean, it came out of nowhere, but once again, we talk about his power at 118. Yeah, he, he carried some power up to 122 and 126, but when he comes back to a lower weight class at 118, you're looking at a guy that Probably has the most power in this division as you can see right here. He comes back with the level BAM boom hit him Good right night. on the chin and that Good was it night See ya, I tell you what he probably he could have he could have knocked out a racehorse with that left hook look and Stefan young left his chin in the air waited too long boom Sure did night night and the fundamentals. He did not have his right hand up a lot of that has to do with fatigue But you can see right here. No needle to sees the open shot Boom! He was unconscious going to the canvas. He was, he was, he before was he unconscious before his back smacked and then bang. You never want to see that. And thankfully he's okay. He's